coming at you hot from that state of play, Alex, right? More like state of decay. 2020. I like decay better. <laughs> I put out a tweet that said state of 2020 as like a stupid dad joke. Oh. I should have put decay. Yeah. You're better at this than I am. If you didn't know, <laughs> this is our state of play December 10th. Yes. Reacts. It's currently 9.36. <laughs> I don't know why you in told the, him the time, in, in but the, okay. In, in the morning. <laughs> in the morning for us. Everyone complaining because, oh, I got to wake up at 6 a.m. And then it's better for us because we only had to get up at 9. It's just weird that it's 6 somewhere. It's just like time travel. Time, it's weird. Time <laughs> zones are just like time travel. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> That's going, topic. In, going into the state of play, overall, we'll go over our impressions of the state of play, but we'll go play by play and talk about each uh, real quick. So, we open Untitled Goose Game, coming to PS4 December 17th. Next week? Yeah. Do you, does that excite you at all? Do you even it's, care? It's, do it you looks, know what this game is? I, I don't. I, mm-hmm. From what I watched from the trailer, it looks pretty funny, and I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely one of the games where it's like, yep, this will be fun, and it's only, I think, like three hours. So, oh, I mean, yeah. you can just polish it it's off. It's just like a afternoon. small in the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah that's all it is again, December 17th. Spellbreak, which was this Fortnite-esque magic. It's a battle the, royale game. Yeah. It, it, it <clears throat> looks fun, question mark. I, I don't know. I, I don't have. I only have uh, so much time yeah. for online games. The spell of spell break. They should call it frame break. Nice, yep. nice. Yep. If you don't know the frame rate, awful. Yeah, the, it, 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 the it trailer. Was, it was struggling. <laughs> it was uh, hard on my eyeballs because it was. Uh, it you was, could def- you could definitely yeah. tell it wasn't sixty. There was uh, there was. <laughs> They definitely was not sixty. Um, like there was a part where they jumped and like did like a magic thing, and and I was like, whoa, okay, I'm sorry, but it, I mean it's beta, you know, they're ironing yeah. out, I'm sure, all that good stuff. Um, I mean, it looks cool, but yeah, just, it looks it cool. Spend so many battle royals, and then the, like, yeah. and then it's kind of the same art style too. Yeah, it definitely looks like Fortnite to me. So yeah, uh, it doesn't excite me honestly. Dreams, February fourteenth. 2020, of course, mm-hmm. coming out. Official, official release. You might be asking yourself, didn't Dreams already come out? Kind of. It, it came out early release that you could play, and but you had to pay for it. I think it was 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I it's kind of like how game preview works. Yeah. With, with I assume Xbox. that's a discount. I assume the game will be $60, but yeah. the, the preview, I think, is 40 mm. Um, And then people got to try it out. Uh, that's why you already see so many games. And then when it launches, I'm sure you have an even more at that point. I don't even know if I would create anything. I just no, really want to explore stuff that people have created. No, I'm not. I wouldn't create anything. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm not I tried, creative in that sense. I tried playing um, Project Spark a long time ago. I remember you were like, I was into it. I was it. like, Alex, yeah. why are you playing this? <laughs> and hey, <laughs> which is funny that that is the basically the exact same thing that yeah. this is almost not just exactly. a PlayStation version. Yeah, it's just a PlayStation yeah. version that's actually semi successful. Kind of. Well, at not the time, even, yeah. Spark was good. Was Spark? I don't even Spark think Spark came out at launch. Yeah, but like, launch. I don't think Spark was successful at any point. Well, when I played it, there was a lot of community on there. It just, it stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Probably for the best. Yeah. I liked it. Super Liminal. Coming to PS4 2020. This is that uh, really cool looking game made by the people who made Stanley Parable. Oh, yeah, if you yeah. ever play that, it's a PC game. That's also coming to consoles, by the way, Stanley Parable. I will re- play that one. Mm-hmm. Comes out. I'm very excited for that. Um, Super Liminal looks very cool. It's basically a game of perspective. You can move a chess piece really far back, and that makes it bigger. God, our dog is choking to death over there. Obviously. <laughs> Just randomly. Uh, <laughs> Super Liminal looks really cool, though. Yeah, I like it. it. I'll play it when it comes out. Oh yeah. Um, I am a little disheartened that it said 2020 with yes. no frame. So I'm like. Is it gonna be twenty twenty or is it gonna be the next year? Yeah. And yeah, we'll see. Paper Beast is a PSVR game, Q one twenty twenty. Next. Yeah. <laughs> I, this that was my it, it, entire it's, while it's, I was watching this, I'm like if if I mm, what no. is go uh, and then I, I look, I'm like, what is the point it's of just, the, or it's just origami moving. You, you you brought up the point is like I, what is the point? And I go, I don't know. Like, I don't understand if I'm just supposed to watch them flock. I like think we're getting them to flock. that tree so they can get balloons and float away. 
Uh, not for me. I no. I assume people will like that, but it's that's not for me. I'm I'm not playing. Yeah, that. I'm not playing the game. Um, and then best part of the probably the whole thing is Kingdom Hearts Three Rewind. Oh yeah, it gets a f- official date January twenty third. Not gonna Soon. lie, there was a lot going on in some of those uh, scenes. Uh, yeah, there was. I was watching and I'm like, yeah. I I love everything I'm seeing, but. If you don't care, but uh, that looked like a bunch of a, a gobble to gush that probably didn't even incentivize you to play it. <laughs> yep. Um, but I'm very excited to what this means for Kingdom Hearts. I'm excited to see what else comes out of this. Like, for instance, are we getting more story? And it looks like we that's are. What, yeah, that's what I'm gonna look. We're from, getting a little more story. That's what it looks like. Um, <laughs> I remember um, the director uh, was asked about DLC, and he was like, "Yeah." I'll, I'll come back with DLC to fix some of the plot holes I have, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's very convenient for you. <laughs> You'll just release it to fix all the plot holes. Yep. But yeah, I, I assume he'll patch up because there's a lot of parts in the and near the end of the game, and I'm sure you know this act that just kind of end, and you know, yeah. we don't really see a resolution to it. So I'm sure we'll see a lot of stuff like that um, in this. That will essentially, I assume, be most of it. And then it looks like there's a lot of for fun stuff. If, for instance. <laughs> The uh, the, sorry, the, the dog is being the, hilarious. The dog is it does the thing where they like try to dig it, but it's trying to like I guess find a good comfortable spot. It's hilarious. I wish we had a camera so we could show this. It's adorable. Um, but uh, back to this. It, it's uh, uh, sorry, it's so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, All right. it's it's uh, about, it's gonna be really cool because yeah. um. Like, there's a lot of for fun stuff you could be, oh, yeah, yeah. get to play Terra and Aqua while they're fighting. Mm. I forget who they were fighting, but they were fighting and in, in, at the end of the game and stuff like that. <laughs> it was so <laughs> funny. I could see it out of the peripheral of my vision. Yep. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it. Any comments on Raymond? Um, no, I'm excited. Um, I'm want to see what if they're gonna. What's it? What is it? I mean, because I, I could see it. Uh, that whole DLC seems to go with the whole last. Just, just only the last portion of the last like what three hours of the game. Uh, yeah. So I'm wondering. If, looks like it. Yeah. So and then it looks like we get the that end. Or, okay. Thing, you know what I mean? You yeah. Look, I don't want to spoil it just because you. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, the ending looks like it's being resolved as well. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Um, uh, then we skip to predator hunting grounds i'm excited for which this looks one. awesome mm-hmm. as soon as it goes to predator vision and he's walking with the gun i'm like yep this yeah, is my this is this is what i'm all vision for. it looks super cool yeah um april 24th it actually has a date now i don't believe we had a date before. that's crazy because apparently that's the day after my baby's due oh so so uh, you get to show him this or her, her. You get to show her this yeah like look i have this game i don't think i'll be <laughs> in, in, in here in <laughs> Uh, I'll text you and be like, hey, how's, how's Predator? Uh, how's Predator? Um, uh, th- that's it, though. Looks cool. Yeah. Um, it looks like they're trying to make being a Marine fun because you actually have yeah. guns and you can actually try and kill them or well, something. That it, looks cool. It's interesting because, oh, excuse me, um, then Predator, you're in third person, and then when you're the Marine guy, you're in first person. So and I, I mean, the I last time to give different feels of play, yeah. right? Well, the last time we did this was a. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, the game. Yeah, the actual game. And you game. can play all three. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Babylon's Fall is next. This is a Square Enix game. Um, this is a Dark Souls RPG with it, a Final it, Fantasy yeah. art style. And Devil May Cry combat. Devil May Cry combat, yes. That's, a, that's another good point. Um, cool, look cool? It look cool, yeah. Cool, yeah, cool. It, it looks cool. I, yeah, they don't explain much, and we don't get any information about anything, really. Yeah. Um, it, like I said, it looks cool. Um, hopefully, this game comes out and is as cool as it looks, because it looks like you're like super over the top with yeah. like your fighting styles, and then you can like pick up big swords and fight people. That look cool. Um, but yeah, the w- nothing out of a date, just next summer. So cool, and the cover it showed like three or four of the characters on there, like the silhouettes of them. I wonder if you can play as them. I or assume if that'll it's a, be like the, online or something. I, I assume one. that'll be playable characters. Okay. You can play as. Um, uh, Project Resistance is next. Mm-hmm. So it was weird. It goes to Project Resistance, closes, and then moves on to actually Resident Evil Three. It shows off basically that. Mm-hmm. Shows off the remake. Like it shows uh, that's Jill Valentine running through this kind of on fire house getting yeah. through trying to run through stuff 
gets to the uh, outside and then gets called out by I assume Chris Redfield, Jill, by Jill? I don't know who calls her name, but oh, someone calls know. her name. Somebody and somebody looks. said a name Carlos. Is that to do with the hair? Yeah, Carlos has the big hair. Okay, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I haven't played these games, so I can't speak too much. But it looks cool. I like Resident Evil yeah. Two. This looks like just a remake, so same mm-hmm. as Resident Evil Two. Um, it looks cool, and then they reveal the rumored Project Resistance game is the online portion of Resident Evil 3. So we're getting a like two of these things multiplayer. Ones. Yeah, so we, we'll get a campaign and then a co-op multiplayer where I think we're trying to escape mm. um, Raccoon City. I don't remember what the actual objective of the um, co-op experience is. When we watched, what was it, E3, when yeah. they showed Resident Evil. And, uh, yeah, you, they showed Project Resistance. Like, uh, was, that, was that the one where the guy is like in the... like? On the floor and like there's like a like his like something's hitting his arm or something. Wasn't that like, Rainbow was, like, Six? Oh yeah, that was Rainbow Six. Yeah. Thank you. I, okay. that, I, I thought not remember. Sa- I thought I the not same remember thing. What that was yeah. That was I, Rainbow Six. What quarantine? Yeah, what it's called. I think I think so. I, I thought the same <laughs> thing, and then I um, yeah, I could not remember. What and that then was. I remembered that way. I think that's what you call it. But hold on, let me okay. let me go to the official thing. I hate when they ask for your your. Yeah, it's like you know uh, you would. Date of birth. Like if you're looking like if for I'm these games, you would lie. think you're this age already. But I, guess I get it. You have but a 12 year old again, Resident Evil. Like, I mean, you can just lie. What's wrong what's with the that? Point? Um, I'm trying to find. They gotta learn somehow. Trying to find. Okay, there we go. So Capcom's Project Resistance is a new 1v4 asymmetric online survival horror experience set in the world of Resident Evil. Unless you're in evil as a cunning mastermind or join the fight as one of the resourceful survivors desperately trying to escape every obstacle the mastermind puts in their way. Cool. There's uh, uh, things oh. that do one v four. I feel like that they got they're trying to bring back evolve in a slow pacing. Uh, this reminds me honestly more of the Fable game we never got. Oh, <laughs> Remember God. where the guy yeah. was basically the dungeon master of the f- mm-hmm. other four people? Yeah, um, it was a uh, Fable Legends. Yep, yeah, but wasn't that the card game? Uh, I think. Oh, you're, you're, you're right. I'm yeah. sorry. What was the? What was the Oof. one? I that was a long time ago. Mm. I don't know. You might be right. It might be Fable Legend. I don't. I don't remember. You looked that up. Um, but the objective is that survivors will win if they manage to escape before time runs out. The mastermind will win if they manage to. Yeah, it was. All it was survivors. Fable Legend. It was okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't remember uh, what it was actually. Yeah. Called. Yeah. Because I had downloaded it and then I try. I tr- I tried one like one game, and then I was never ever played it, ever <laughs> play it, being able to play it again. Yeah, because like, it got canceled. Um, yeah. So yeah, it looks like e- same thing. You're like this mastermind guy, um, and there's no. I I guess you yeah. I don't think you're a person. I think you just set up traps. I assume you can control something. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry, I had to send a text to somebody real quick. There we go. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks cool. <coughs> looks fine. I dig it. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a shot. I, tr- uh, yeah, I, I tried them. giving Resident Evil 2 a shot. I just, uh, I mean, it was good. I just fell off of it. Yeah, it's, it's good. Else. You should go back. Or at least try it. And then we end with Ghost of Tsushima, with which is scene. the biggest tease. <laughs> it, it's a he's ba- he's samurai. Like, he stands there, gets a smoke bomb, throws it on the ground, and then... That's it. You see more of the game wards. Cool, but... Like, it's interesting that they have the f- their their first party that they own by Sucker Punch is being shown at the Game Awards and not the PlayStation sponsored thing. I guess because they know Game Awards is more of a bigger event. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder if there's some sort of cross promotion deal because mm. that incentivizes people to go watch that now. I don't yeah. know. I, I, I thought it was weird, but it's cool that. Uh, Jeff got that. That's really cool uh, for Jeff Keighley that he gets a big announcement like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I bet you that's not the only one either. Oh, I'm sure there's at least one other cool game. I'm thinking this isn't a <laughs> this isn't our Game Awards prediction show, but it's. I'm assuming we're getting um uh, something from WB. Oh something. yeah, Batman. Hopefully, or um, that Superman game. Uh, if that's real, I would love that. Um, that's Rocksteady, I assume, if, if they're doing that. I assume they want one, but I don't think anyone knows how to make those type of games. Um, but yeah, Alex, what did you think of the conference? It was fine. It was fine. Yeah, yeah. it was fine. It, 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 do you regret watching it? No. Okay. Well, they at least nailed that, I guess, right? I had fun. Yeah. It, this was not any... 
bombshell like they've had and i don't even think they've have they had like i don't remember off the top of my head have they had a really good state of play yet the last one what was that one last of us we're real okay yeah but that was the one where they basically only had last of us though and now, to be fair, that's, true. that's basically enough. <laughs> like that's, that's all, all you wanted. really needed. That's all I wanted. Um, so I'll give you, I'll give you to you that, that yeah, I, I agree. They that's all, the best one. The, all of them have always been like, oh, they're they're good, they're fine. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, the last one was just because it was really because of the Last of Us. But yeah, that one was really good. Yeah, I get. I, yeah, I because one thing could change it. Yeah, yeah, good point. Good point. One one so reveal like, will like, make say, it like cool. Right, like right now, if they would have, instead of the, the teaser for Ghost of Shima, if they, they would have showed, showed us the, the whole thing or just like a little gameplay mm-hmm. of it, it would have been really good. Yeah, it's a good point. It's, it's a good point. It yeah. just needs one thing, but this didn't yeah. have that one thing because their one thing was saved for Game Awards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I agree then. Um, But this was a fine one. I, I don't regret watching it. It's... it's one of those things where you, you hi, I try not to hype myself up for these things because, yeah. especially end of the year, they're just kind of wanting to make something to close the out, out the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm at the end of the day. Did we need this? Nah, I don't think we did either. I so think- I'm curious on what made them. I wonder if they have like a like a spreadsheet and they're like, hey, we have to have state of plays every couple months, so yeah. we at least it have seems to like have it's like every, something. Yeah, it's every so I wonder if they months. did this. And we're like, hey, we kind of have to have one before December or before the year ends. Yeah. So, like, let's get one I mean, together. It was, I mean, I don't mind the state of place, but uh, with it, like, if I would have got, scrolled through uh, IGN and seen these articles, it, I probably would have gotten the same reaction. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a good, that's a good point, Alex. Yeah, I, 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 I guess I'd have to. I, I would have clicked on it, read it a little bit. All right, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. You, then, re- you read like that first paragraph, and you're like, "This is too long." Honestly, I probably would have skipped half of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I. That's a good point. I, I, I kind of resonate with what you put there because, would I? Because at no point did I go, oh, other than for Kingdom Hearts. But yeah, yeah, that's very specific, and that leaked. So I already watched it and yeah, yeah, yeah. consumed it and already figured out what it was going to be. So like this was kind of ruined by leaks because we saw yeah. Kingdom Hearts and we saw Resident Evil already. So. I, I, had, I I knew about Kingdom Hearts. I didn't know about Resident Evil, but I didn't even watch it I, yet. So I, this this that was my first. The time trailer it. didn't just the box art and like oh, the game leaked. I got you. Um, so we we didn't we still didn't know much about it. Um, okay. but it we still knew it was going to be here. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Cl- any any closing thoughts? Uh, I'm waiting for Game Awards in two days. Yeah, two days. Um, we stay tuned. I bl- might have time to do a react. We'll have to look at some things. We might have time to do a react for that. It's on. I have a wedding this weekend, so I don't know. What is it on? For it's the twelfth Thursday. It's that's, the twelfth. That's, that's a Thursday, right? I assume so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So okay. yeah, twelfth is when Game Awards is. So make sure you tune into them. That starts nine p.m. Pacific, I believe. Um, I'll look it up for you just uh, so you have some information before we clo- uh, close out Game Awards. Yeah, because you s- <laughs> is make sure that uh, we know for us Eastern. Eastern, yes, uh, of course. Of Over course. here trying to give me a wake up at 6 yeah, o'clock in the morning. I, I, at first, I just saw 6 and was this like, oh, man, it's 6 Eastern. And then this man and then I thought about up. it and I was like, wait a minute. I looked it up last night or and then it, it said it, 6 uh, a.m. Pacific. Pacific. And I was like, okay, we don't have to get up at 6 a.m. Never mm. mind. Uh, da, 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 I'll be able there's... to watch it, though. I open you on open? Okay. Thursday, so I am good. I will. Uh, I'm off. Uh... Yeah, I'm off. Thursday? Yeah. Okay. I think. When are you going to Wait, do Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not off, but I open as well. Okay. So I'm good. I was going to say, um, when do you go to the wedding? Friday. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll be gone Friday. So, um, okay. enough about me though. Mm. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a short one, but we also the play, say to play was a short yeah. one. Um, as always, stick with Easy Achievers everywhere on your social medias, on your Instagram, on your Twitters e- at EVM nine thousand for myself at Crazy Flip Skater for Alex. If you want to stay tuned with us, Patreon.com is where you support us. Only a dollar helps us so much, gives us the support we need to keep evolving our special little podcast we have here. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank we'll you. see you next time.